What is up guys, I'm Julius and today I'll go over how you can make this super simple retro VHS camera look in Adobe Premiere Pro CC without any plugins and no downloads at all. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is drag a clip to the timeline. I have this random unedited clip of me riding a scooter in a skate park. Do not ask me why, I do not ride scooters. But as you can see, there are no effects on the clip. So the first thing you want to do is hold down Alt and drag the clips up. And you want to do that twice, so you have three clip stacks. And then you want to search for an effect called Color Balance RGB. You want to turn the blue and the green all the way down at the first clip and add the same effect to the middle layer and turn down all the red and the blue all the way and also to the last clip and turn down the red and the green all the way. Then during the first and the second layer you want to change the blend mode to screen on both of them and then the clip looks normal like it was before. But here's a trick, if you change the scale you can see that it gets this really cool retro look already. And you can play around with it how you want, depending on which layer you scale. There's like four or five different ways, uh, four or five different looks you can get. As you can see, I'm just showing them off right now. And I'm just gonna go with this one, I think. So the next thing you wanna do is just create an adjustment layer. Make sure that, the, that you stretch it all the way out so it's the same length as the sequence. You wanna search for an effect called color and bus and add that to the adjustment layer and you want to change the contrast to 350 and that's the only thing we're going to do and you can already see now that it gets a little bit grainy a little bit cool a little bit you know retro looking now you want to search for an effect called noise and you just want to change the amount to 10 percent just like that and you can see that it gets really grainy you could also use like dust and scratches or something like that but I just really like how noise looks. And next up, you have to search for an effect called Wave Warp and also add that to the adjustment layer. And you want to change the wave type to square and just leave the wave height at 10 and change the wave width to 1000 and change the direction to zero degrees. And that means it will go from the top to the bottom. As you can see now already, we have some squares and change the wave speed to minus 0.1 just like that and the pinning to all edges so we don't get those really nasty black edges and there you have it that is the retro VHS camera look without any presets or any plugins or anything like that if you want to you can get a bit creative and you can add like a green screen overlay recording or play around with the colors a bit this is a bit more rough look but it still looks really really cool but thank you for watching I'm Julius please subscribe to my channel and write in comments what content you would love to see in the future also if you want to please follow me on Instagram I plan on doing a lot of more tutorials at least one every day and yeah peace guys